First tonight, a police commissioner has told us that victims of child sex abuse have been failed lamentably by the decision not to prosecute a former Leicester MP. Today, the Director of Public Prosecutions announced that there is sufficient evidence to charge Lord Greville Janna with historical crimes against nine individuals. But she said prosecution wasn't in the public interest because he is suffering from severe dementia. Well, our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball is at Leicestershire Police Headquarters for us now. Jeremy, good evening. Uh, what's been the reaction there today? Well, Dominic, real anger here. I don't think I've ever seen such a strongly worded police statement. It says the decision not to prosecute Lord Janet is simply wrong and that the force has gathered credible evidence that some of the worst, most serious sex crimes imaginable were committed over three decades. And these complaints go back to the time when Greville Janner was the MP for Leicester West in the 1970s. In the past, he's vehemently denied sex abuse allegations, but he's been accused of getting access to children in care by befriending a man who ran children's home in Leicestershire, a notorious paedophile called Frank Beck, a claim that first emerged during Beck's trial back in 1991. Yes, yeah, so why has this been going on for so long? Well, there have been several previous police investigations into Greville Janner, and today the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions raised concerns about those inquiries. One of them was actually led by Mick Creedon, the man who is now Chief Constable of Derbyshire, and he's told me that he was ordered not to arrest Lord Janner and ordered not to search his home. Now, uh, today I've been getting reaction to all of this from the man who oversees policing here in Leicestershire. And first of all, all I asked Clive uh, Loader about today's announcement that Lord Janner isn't going to be prosecuted. Of course, I'm really angry, not because I, of, of high emotion for me, but because I represent victims. And I think they've been really badly dealt with in this case. They have been badly let down by the DPP in this decision. You're furious about this, aren't you? Yes, I am, absolutely so. I think this is a really bad decision. And it's really bad for these victims. It's bad for other victims of a similar crime who perhaps now won't come forward. And, you know, there will be a spectrum of reactions to this. But some of them, I know, are very vulnerable and still very vulnerable. Their lives have been deeply affected by what happened to them when they were small children. And many of them have not, never got over it. Isn't this the police force's fault, though? The, the Director of Public Prosecutions makes the point that Leicestershire Police investigated some of these allegations against Lord Janna many, many years ago, and that investigation simply wasn't thorough enough. Well, it, that's just not true, I'm afraid. It's not so this time. Uh, the DPP has accepted there's very powerful evidence in this case. And by the way, the two times that uh, cases were put to the CPS t uh, before, in both cases, the DPP today has acknowledged that they also passed the evidential test, and yet they failed to prosecute, and they did fail in their duty. And can't you understand the argument that it's not in the public interest to prosecute a very old man with severe dementia? Nobody is uh, quibbling about the fact that he is in a, a fit state, as it were, to, to act in his own defence, but there is another mechanism and it is called a hearing of fact, a finding of fact, with uh, the, the victims not just telling their story, not just being heard, but also uh, seeing justice being done. Uh, and that could have happened. Uh, and I don't know why the DPP has decided that it isn't to happen, but as I said, I think it's a really bad decision. Mr Clive Loader there. Jeremy, you're getting more reaction there this evening, aren't you? Yes, Dominic, we've had a statement this evening from one of the men who came forward to say that Lord Janna abused him. He says that victims are being walked over and justice needs to be served. We've also had a statement this evening from Lord Janna's own family, and they say today's decision doesn't imply that he's guilty of any allegations. They say he's entirely innocent, and they also say Lord Janna is a man of great integrity. OK, Jeremy Ball, thank you.